Okay, continuing with the second part of this video tip or video tutorial. Uh, in the first part, we see how to mask the fireflies, the pixels. And in this part, we're going to see. I'm going. I'm checking right now a, a bit that I thought that I forget, but just wait a second. This is a pre pre record video. Okay, once we have our pixels uh, already masked, we have to continue. Uh, we have to continue with the erasing or crossing out the fireflies. To do this, we have a few options <clears throat> that I have discovered once I recorded this video. The one I recorded was using uh, a blur in order to blur the, the, the pixels around the color pixels around the firefly to, to to replace it and the other two options are using uh, displace or transform nodes in order to move the pixels uh, only one side now the idea is to take the color next to the firefly and uh, cross it out or replace it so using blur or transform or uh, displace will allow us to do that once we did that and using our mask it's easier to take it out if we use if we decide to use blur node the idea is to take the pixels near the firefly and blur it out using Gaussian blur a simple blur a fast blur or whatever as you can see the idea is this so I'm going to clean this a bit okay in a moment I'm going to clean it there we go okay now we're going to use a filter blur and we have our first problem we have our main image with the fireflies. Using our road, we get some in a nice way and take from the reroad to the uh, blur. As you can see, this generates a big, big flare, as you can see here. It blurs, it blurs nice, but it's a bit strong. And why is this? If you remember, our pixel has a value of 36,000. So the the firefly will make an an stronger effect over the, the blur com in comparison with the normal pixels that has a value that that, that doesn't uh, clamp uh, out of one. So this is a big problem. In order to, to correct this, we have to clamp our output to avoid this kind of uh, stronger flares coming out of our box. In order to do that, we have to, to use, or I use, a new feature that is not on the 263 trunk. I am not now using a revision. 49 to 32 that I downloaded from graphical.org but I assume that this will be going to be at uh, 2.64 and this is clamp clamp what it does is to clamp the output in order to uh, clamp the the color value in a range of 0 to 1 what I did with this uh, mixed color node I put it in add mode and uh, I add a black color over my image in order to avoid any extra information to be added and have a clean clamped uh, image from it and as you can see the blur from the neighbors pixels at the firefly uh, totally erase them or at least cover it as you can see here 
this is not perfect as yeah, so I said there is a the displays and transfer out nodes to do also this kind of effect but in this case or some cases this blur could work now we have to combine uh, our original image our blurred image and our mask in order to have a sharp image without the fireflies as you can see this is my main my main image and it has fireflies to combine them we are going to use a simple mix node color mix node one input is the main image the other input is the blurred image and as a factor from the, for the mixing we are going to use the mask that we have that we see we have from our color ramp or our math node as you can see here i uh, miss the input so i am so i am going to uh, flip the ramp but i forgot to take uh, the viewer from the mix node that i am using for the mix so there it is and we have now as you can see if you don't know which input is in the mix node it is it's really easy to to flip the mask and 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 go on with it it's not a big issue which is going to which is going first but the blurred image should be below because it's going to be uh, above the the fireflies as you can see uh, i mentioned before before yes before that there is two more options like displace and transform to erase uh, fireflies instead of blur and at this moment you can see why i mentioned these options the blur in this particular case where i have red uh, next to a black solid it's not working well it's not replacing the pixels as it should be so other options should be considered in this particular case and that particular zone but as you can see here um, in general uh, in general comma this seems to be seems to work well and um, even though you can paint by hand and I see people painting by hand these fireflies in an, in an animation using software like Nuke. Uh, there are easy. Uh, this is an easy way to 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 clean a bit the image. And now, what happens if we take our output from the down from the uh, nodes that give us a floating value? Where that is the result. The mixing it's uh, overpowered if I can use that word and uh, it creates a nice and psychedelic effect lovely for some motion graphics but not for removing fireflies this is because if we remember well the output of the value from the map value was uh, over the 100,000 I don't know and the black value were below the minus 30,000 or minus 36 I re can remember this is easily clamp clampable if comparable is another word, I'm not sure. With a color ramp, as you as you can see in the screen. Um, okay, I'm not sure if there's anything else to comment about this. This is as simple as this. You take the mask from the pixels. You generate an image that can be used for uh, for for I don't know for the movie, but it replace or remove the fireflies and you mask one over that over the other and this is it a simple trick to to deal with this uh, annoying fireflies or white overexposed uh, dots um, I'm not sure if there is anything else to to mention uh, check my blog blendervillage.blogspot.com and this is all uh, happy Monday.